When I began my exploration into the lore of Hypnotist Sappho on September 16th, I made a claim. A bold claim, but one I don't think was beyond the bounds of reality. It was in the first five minutes of my stream. Let me refresh your memory on that claim and show you the clip. So, I, I can't say the source I have on this one. I promised them I would protect their anonymity. I would not say who they are. Um, but it is one of those things that as much as she is stating that this is sort of unprompted in this video, um, there was an event that occurred about three days before the time of this video, which this video was posted on September 11th. The event that occurred was September 8th. Um, and given the time frame of what was, you know, put out there, uh, as well as when this video was put out, there's no way that this was anything other than a panic move to protect her image. As of my last video, I'd thought I'd figured everything out. I believed I'd found the smoking gun, and in a sense, I wasn't wrong, but I wasn't fully correct either. In this video, I'm going to show you the final card in this proverbial game of Clue. We have the culprit, we have the weapon, and now it's time to find the location and end our game. I want to be clear, barring some act of God, some massive new breakthrough in her behavior or in this story, I won't be making any more follow-ups on Valerie. My channel is dedicated to exposing zoo files, and while Valerie certainly is one, I'm not here to A-log a single zoo file to the ends of the earth. I'll be assembling all the content I've made on Valerie into a playlist once this goes up and potentially edit all three pieces of content into a single upload sometime in the future. But after this video, this is the end of the line for me as far as this story is concerned. Everything you are going to see in this video has one specific goal in mind, and that is to help you understand its conclusion. All the evidence I present is meant to help illustrate the legitimacy of one singular truth. I won't tell you what that truth is yet, but I imagine you'll begin understanding it as this video progresses. For now, just know I'm only here to prove one point, and the best place to begin on that road to proving that one point is with this clip from my last video. Well, I do have follow-up questions regarding your server, if you're willing to answer those. Yes, that would be fine. I allow people who are 16 above to be in the server, but only give the ability, slash not safe for work rule, to people who can verifiably prove, with ID, they are 18 plus. My server is not sexually focused, and all explicit channels, which cannot be unlocked without that role, also explicitly state you must be 18 plus to enter. I also have a couple zoo channels on my server, which are only safe for work content. Alright, I have a question regarding your moderation staff. Do mods have access to all channels by default, uh, seeing as their job requires them to, you know, regulate the server? They did, and all mods apart from the one on my server have that access. Unfortunately, that led to an oversight where a 17-year-old head moderator had access to the 18-plus section of the server, so that has since been changed, so they can't assign themselves not safe for work. Valerie claimed that this was an oversight. There was a single mod who was underage who was given NSFW roles. Recently, a video by a small commentator named Jokun has come out. This video contradicts that narrative. Jokun has been kind enough to allow me to use a few clips, but I strongly suggest watching his video on Sappho. I'll link the video in the description below. Now then, allow me to roll the clip. Let's start with a member of the server before the miners were removed, a miner themselves. We'll refer to this person as Blue for the sake of anonymity. Blue is a 17 year old who had joined Sappho's inner circle, another minor moderator. Got all the big roles, including the aforementioned harem role that was talked about on the farms. Note that all of these screenshots are taken before the September 11th coming out video. Also note that Blue is a separate 17 year old from the one that went public about Sappho's bestiality. Now, Blue after joining in early September had, whilst not explicitly, saying too much personally, it is shown they had expressed being in school. Notice as well that Blue is able to talk in the NSFW chats. Moderation powers are given to a minor in a server that has NSFW content. 
We also have a screenshotted interaction with Blue and Sappho in her server that is highly questionable in nature, where we see Sappho sharing a photo of a censored dildo. A dog penis shaped dildo. One may attempt to argue that these screenshots could be falsified. However, the issue with that argument is that Valerie herself confirmed their validity in the comments of that video. Let me read her comment on the video and the reply to that comment for you now. Many of these receipts are either insane speculation, forged, or hearsay. I still don't see hard evidence to back any claims made. And the fact a 17-year-old Canadian who had head moderator privileges got access to those chats is a yawn at best. Also, no NSFW Zoo content has ever been present on that server unless you stretch the meaning of feral furry artwork. I did legally incorporate a zoo sexual rights slash animal welfare advocacy nonprofit organization, and that will be my full-time job. I will say, however, you were surprisingly fair. In fact, I did not see forged receipts in this video, which is a surprise. So good job on that, actually. Having confirmed the validity of these screenshots, we can confirm Valerie has sent images of sex toys that are designed to be anatomically correct replicas of animal genitals to the exact same minor she previously said was accidentally given moderator authority, and we can also confirm that this moderator also had the capacity to speak in all NSFW chats, and Valerie was aware of this. Now, allow me to roll one more clip from Joe Kuhn's video, which, again, I highly recommend watching. Additionally, Blue and Salfa also meet up in VR chat. This here was taken around the same time frame before the September 11th coming out video. Aside from the stuff with Blue, there is an additional minor Sappho had contact with. A 16 year old, not much has come out on this situation with this minor. Allegedly, this 16 year old and Sappho had engaged in ERP on VR chat with them. For those who are unaware, yes, you can have have sexual roleplay in VR chat, down to even having genitalia added to avatars. The following is a censored screenshot of the alleged incident. I suspect some of you may know where the conclusion is sitting, but rest assured, we're not there yet. We have more information to sift through, but we're close. The next clip I plan to show you is a TikTok by a user named Your Cat's Baby Mama whom is evidently a 14-year-old teenager. I will mention, I have muted the clip to avoid potential copyright due to the music played. However, all of the lyrics are on screen anyway. Let me roll you that. Now, one could definitely argue this clip could be meaningless. There's no evidence Sappho has had any interaction with this user. However, Valerie has issued statements on her Twitter feed about this user, whom she has since begun speaking with. Let me read those for you. Bruh, I make a video with a fan saying, Happy Zoo Furry Pride, and get called Groomer because they happen to be 14? Literally everyone is accused of being a groomer. Me supporting someone's orientation does not make me a groomer. K, thanks. Imagine if people said you were a groomer for supporting a teen that was homosexual or transgender. Me being a genuinely nice person while also supporting someone's orientation does not make me a pedo or a groomer, dude. Or you support someone who is transgender, and then some religious zealot comes to you like, that child doesn't understand the situation they're in. You groomer, they're just a child. Like, fuck off with that. Hold it!
trust you all can see the conclusion I've come to with the evidence I've presented. I'm not suggesting Valerie is a pedophile. What I am accusing you of, Valerie, and this is an accusation, is grooming children into zoophilia and having zoophilic tendencies. The evidence is fairly conclusive. In fact, I would argue that it almost speaks for itself. And when you factor in that Valerie has since made her Discord 18 plus out of fear of public backlash, it helps strengthen this conclusion further. Valerie is abusing her newfound authority in the communities she's in to corrupt the minds of the most vulnerable members, much like a certain zoo sadist did years ago. So, after two videos and one stream, where are we now? We have Valerie coming out as a zoophile, which she only did to get ahead of potentially worse allegations, such as how she's actively grooming minors into it, how she practices unlicensed therapy, as she isn't certified, and how she's potentially committing sexual abuse during those therapy sessions. I think I can say beyond a shadow of a doubt, my due diligence with this subject has been done. I expect more to her story will come and go, and I'll be leaving the documentation of those dumpster fires to my peers. As for me, this is where I turn the page and close the book. As always, a big thank you to my patrons, Kefius, Rubric Gemling, Phaser Wolf, Pufferman, Percival CM, Marlow Knights, Riddle of Lightning, Xylon Arden, Lyo Convoy, Boyo, Busy Robot Hands, Anthony Ruth, Lucid Creator, Hateful Tate, Spoken Mind, and Shiloh Connor. Without your support, these videos would not be possible. And another thank you to the artist who does my character stills and my channel art, Sirud. A link to their Twitter will be in the description below as well as well as a link to Jokun's channel and the video that he made on Sappho as well. I would not be able to have come to the conclusions that I had without the points that he presented and the information he brought forward, so I highly recommend checking his channel out. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, and I'll catch you all later.